scientists, let's take a moment to take a look at all of the stars and planets that fill our beautiful night sky. Oh my gosh, look at all of those beautiful stars and planets. If you want to take a closer look, you might use a telescope. The telescope has come a long way, from a simple looking glass with two convex lenses to large conservatory telescopes that let you see really far into space, and now to gamma radiation telescopes that actually use radiation to measure and look at stars. If we compare the sun to all the different stars in the sky, it looks much, much larger but it's actually about the same size as most of the stars in our sky. It's actually even smaller than a lot of other stars like Betelgeuse. Why it looks so big to us is because we are so much closer to our star than any of those other stars. If we look at these stars, it's hard to point out our star by itself. But there it is, right there, about the same size as all of those other stars. Let's take a closer look at our sun and all of our neighbors. Well, wait. I mean, let's take a really far off look at our neighboring planets in our solar system. Well, let's look a little bit closer. The planets in our solar system can be divided up between the first four, which are rocky planets, and the last four, which are much larger gas planets. Let's take a look at our sun. The sun is huge. It's 109 times the diameter of the Earth. It's the closest star to our planet, and that's why it looks the largest. It's made up of hydrogen and helium. Let's take a look at our planets. The first planet in our solar system is Mercury. Mercury is the smallest planet. It has a rocky exterior and is only about one third the size of Earth. It's the closest planet to the sun. Our next planet is Venus. Venus is the hottest planet in our solar system. It also has a rocky core, but a very, very thick atmosphere that keeps in all of the greenhouse gases. Venus is almost the same size of Earth and is also called the evening and the morning star. It's the brightest object in our sky other than the sun and moon. There's Earth, there we are. It's also a rocky planet and the only known planet with life. If we take a look at our moon, it's about one fourth of the size of Earth and causes the tides on Earth. The last rocky planet is Mars. It's about half the size of Earth and it's also called the red planet. It's another rocky planet. In between the first four and the last four planets is an asteroid belt. And then we start looking at our big gas giant planets. The first one is Jupiter. Jupiter is the largest planet in our solar system. It's a gas giant, and it could fit 11 Earths going across its diameter. It has a moon Europa, which has liquid water. Our next gas giant is Saturn. It's another gas giant that's diameter is almost 10 times the size of Earth's. Saturn also has beautiful rings of dust and debris circling it. Uranus is the seventh planet from the sun. It's another gas giant that's very cold. It spins almost laying on its side and is much smaller than the other two gas planets, but still four times the diameter of Earth. Our last planet is Neptune. Neptune looks very similar in size to Uranus, but has a beautiful blue color due to methane in the atmosphere. It's another gas giant, but it's super cold because it's so far away from the sun. There are a lot of different ways to remember the order of our planets from the sun. One of the most popular ways is an acronym. That means we take the first letter from each planet and make it into a new sentence. My favorite is my very excited mother just served us noodles. That'll help you remember it goes Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Asteroid Belt, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. Let's pause and look at some questions. 